What's up everybody, Hofstaz Taurus here and welcome to a new video for Command Ops 2 Highway to the Rock. Before I get into the meat of the video, Gary Grigsby's War in the West is coming out tomorrow and when I started this channel I did a few tutorial videos on the game. The videos aren't the best, mainly because I had a different kind of monitor that was smaller, I had a bad microphone and my diction was not as good, I didn't prepare as much. The videos are just not that good, to be honest. And I've been wanting to re-record them for quite some time now that I have better equipment and more experience. Um, since the game is releasing tomorrow, I figured why not do it. If you'd like to see that, please leave a comment below. I'd love to see a little bit of encouragement. Um, if you do want to learn how to play the game, it, it was one of my first videos and honestly I can't expect much. Anyway, um, when I played this, this scenario, I played this allies and I stomped the enemy. It was kind of ridiculous. So we're going to be playing as the Axis Test this time. The basic plan of attack is to hold them in these woods here and basically try to get as many units out of it as possible. It's a really nasty scenario because I don't have a lot to work with. If I can hold on to these four, I should be good, or even these three. Alrighty. Um, now, there is a fair bit of lag. If it goes on for too long, what I'll do is I'll take a picture and load it to Imager and upload it. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw as many units as I can out towards here. It's very, very important that I do that. So I'm just going to start moving as much as I can out. We'll get these two as well because they have no range. They're basically useless. Um, these two and move them in this direction as fast as, they, as I can. Also for these ones up here. Then we'll tell them to defend in these woods. Everybody here is relatively comfortable, so I'm going to tell them to do an ambush style of attack. Um, they're comfy where they are, and I'll do the same for these guys here. Defend in situ. Um, no. Actually, that's fine. I'll keep it as that. I've got these three here that I've got. Now, the thing is, it's going to take forever to withdraw everybody, so I'm a bit worried that I'm not going to get everybody out in time. Alrighty. Target is that. No, oh, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, withdraw here, defend here. Right, that looks good. Now I'm going to order a bombardment B over here. A lot of my artillery is pretty short range, unfortunately, so I don't have a lot to work with. I just have this one right now. Do I have this one? Sort of. So we'll just order one there as well. And let's go! Hopefully everybody will start moving as quick as they can. Now another thing is that enemies are going to be coming from the north. So what I'm actually going to do is set up uh, a AAA at two defense points. One up, one up here, one up there, and one here. I'll probably move him up. If I can extract more units, that would be great. I I have no doubt I'm going to lose most of these units here. I left the bombardment a little too late. Not good. So let's just keep throwing as much on the enemy as I can, just so I can escape. Uh, again, no range on that. I want to move the AT guns out as quick as I can as well. So I'm get them to fire on here. I think they have good line of sight. They should. Yep, perfect line of sight. And it should be in their range. Um, what's their range rings? Yep, that's in their range, but it's not within effective range. So that's not good. I'll keep them near, but I'll move this unit up and put these two, this one and this one closer to the road. I really need that AT. It's going to be so helpful later. Oh, oh and as always, apologies for the snoring dogs. Just keep blowing the shit out of them. Right, I'm going to tell this one to withdraw and these two just to get the hell out of there. I have to move as fast as I can. Otherwise, it's just going to take too long. Now, because the order delay is so bad, I'm just going to be sitting here waiting for units to just move. It's absolutely abysmal. I'm 
gonna tell him to move out, no rest, fast as possible, bypass, avoid, just get out. Very, very important. Don't go on the road, buddy. Don't go on the road. No, 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 you don't, you don't, you don't chase after. You do not chase after. Right, full on withdrawal from that area. These ones are doing something differently. I expected them to move around here, but okay. So I just have to concentrate on keeping the bombardment steady so these ones can escape up to the north. Alright. It's a steady run, looks like Heinke. Hein Heineck? Whatever his name is. In my previous playthrough, I couldn't actually get these guys out. But, you know, I'll probably mess it up in some other way, as I'm prone to do. Richter is still stuck back there. Oh, no. Just move, please. Get out, get out, get out. Fast as you can. Richter's escaped! Zora! Hello, Shadow Robot, uh, Batsan. Nubiotibia. These units here are going to sit on this area and just watch out in this direction for flanking attack. I'm going to have each one on a side, sort of, until I can figure out a better way. Actually, I'm going to move this mortar up to the Balk of Valksad. And I think this is a heavy flak, uh, light flak. Not very good for anything except anti-personnel, so I'll just tell him to defend on the edge there. Oh dear. Okay, they haven't moved out yet. That's not good. Um, just you, defend in C2. And you three, move up here. None, fast as you can, avoidance. Because I delayed, I don't know how well I'll get them to escape. Right, so that was actually a pretty good withdrawal for the start, considering I thought I'd get completely eliminated. Um, so we'll just keep bombarding. Nope, I am running out of options there. I don't like him being out of the open, so I'm actually going to move him across the bridge. Alright, more reinforcements. Excellent. We'll again withdraw, fast, avoid. I shall put the defense here in a nice line facing that way. I think I want to exp Nope, that's a comfortable frontage for me. I will actually tell him to move out a bit. Oh shit! Ah, oh, damn it! Ah! I'm sorry, buddy. That, that, that sucked so badly. Right, so I still got two strong AT. They're healthy. I think I lost my other one though. Oh wait, no, that's him there. <laughs> Good uh, withdrawal schedule. Defense up here. Friendly here. Watching and guys comfortably sitting on the bridge. I'll tell him to move down there as well. Apologies for the lag. <clears throat> Alright, so they're going to try and get across the river now, but I can't let that happen. So let's just move you out a bit. My mortars are a bit too far up for my liking. Okay, it's night time and they haven't even reached the forest yet. This is actually a really, really nifty little defense. Excellent withdrawal. Now, for these ones, I'm going to just have to figure out where the commander is. Alright, it's just the one group. Alright, so that's you, um, 2nd Battalion. Holy crap, they're here! No, 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 oh my fucking god. Oh, 
This is bad. That is so bad. I did not expect that. No, 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 no. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> they didn't do that. I thought, oh, I thought he would have better eyes. Don't you have better eyes? No, you don't have better eyes. You s <laughs> oh, that was a bad mistake. <laughs> that was awful. Alright, just gotta continue bombarding. Hopefully. Oh my god, what are you doing back there? Retreat! And we'll withdraw these two out. And actually... What's the strength of this guy? Anti-personal, anti-armor. He's quite powerful, so I'll actually hold him a, back, a bit back as well. How long has this been going on for? Uh, 10 minutes. Okay. I'll put him on the defense here. Alrighty, I'm not too happy about that, so I gotta peel my units out. What? What's the range on that one? That's one of the decent mortars, so I'll tell... I'm gonna make you escape all the way out. Just run. Alright, my defense is up-ish. I kind of panicked. Mm, excuse me. Right now, I'm just trying to get a uh, decent encirclement of the village. So I don't, you know, start screaming and swearing again. I'll actually move this one up as well. What is Polder? What are these names? I don't even know. Okay, successful escape for the mortars. Not really successful for the rest, so... Yep, that's definitely a withdrawal from the region. Avoidance. So yeah, let's... Oh, I think I killed a unit. Yep, I did. I blew him out. Blew him up. Awesome. I'm going to give it a basic withdraw order. Fast and avoid, and we'll move these ones up. Withdraw. Just in that position. If these guys are able to get out, right, they're suppressed, which is a bit unfortunate. So, I'll tell the uh, mortars to start banging this position. Ew, that mortar got captured pretty quickly. That's unfortunate. <gasps> the base! No! He didn't escape! <laughs> I'm forgetting so many things. I, I think this is a pretty comfortable defensive thing right now. I I'm pretty happy with how it's going. I mean, they haven't even made it across the bridge yet. And uh, this has been going on for 13 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Let's just do a save. And we can continue on with this in the next couple of days. So I'll just save that to my desktop. Um, Axis Bridge. Okay, if you enjoyed this content, please give a like, please give a sub. And I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.